Hi, I'm Brian with Sensors. Today I'm going to show you a 2023 Springdale Mini 1750 RD. <clears throat> we'll start on the front. Uh, it comes with a manual tongue jack. Uh, one propane cylinder holds four and a half gallons. <clears throat> Basically, just open it all the way, close it all the way when you're done. Behind it's going to be a lithium uh, RV battery. And also further down underneath the very front is going to be a disconnect switch for the battery. Next to the tongue here we have a starter kit. Comes with a water hose, water pressure regulator, a 30 to 15 amp adapter, and a sewer hose. Uh, this camper also comes with a manual crank for the manual stabilizing jacks. There's four one on each corner of the camper up underneath. We also have a uh, pass-through cargo in the front. It goes all the way across to the other side. And the other side, there's another switch. Uh, that's going to be for the solar panel that's installed on the roof. Here we have entrance door with the uh, can't remember what these steps are called. I'll come back to that. Further down we have uh, some power outlets. This is uh, an exhaust for the furnace inside. Above is a vent for over the range. While we're here, uh, we recommend to have your bearings inspected at least once a year or every 12,000 miles. Here in the very rear, we have a cargo as well. Moving on around to the back. Uh, the back does have a Lippert on the go installed. It's also a walkable roof. A cable or satellite uh, inlet if that's available. Coming around to the other side in the rear, there's another cargo area. And we also have the shore cord. It's gonna be a pull out or push in. It's gonna be 30 amps, about 25 feet in length. Right up here in front of the axles underneath is a dump station. This dump station has two tanks. This is a gray. This one is the black tank and dump cap. Yeah. Generally using your tanks when you're ready to dump, you hook your sewer hose up. You'll want to pull and dump your black first. Wait till it's done, close it back, and then open the gray to clean out the hose. And don't ever forget to put the cap back on when you're done. Also, slightly to the right, there's these two uh, low point drains. Those are the water line low point drains. Uh, you know, drain the water when you're done and to fr flush and clean the lines when needed. Uh, here we have the water connection, city water connection. That's available, fresh water holding tank if the city water is not available. Uh, a couple important things on the fresh, um, don't overfill the fresh tank and when you're done, drain it. The drain is right here, right underneath. And beside the water connection, we have a tankless water heater. This tankless heater is going to run on gas only, has one master switch outside. Make sure you turn that on, it'll turn a control board on the inside. And then the other side of your pass-through cargo, that switch is for the solar panel only. Uh, and this is if you want to add an extra solar panel, uh, cautious, you want to use a uh, specific type. All right, so let's get up on the roof and I'll show you what to do up there. All right, so up on the roof, uh, we just want to recommend to have your uh, lap seals inspected at least twice a year. 
Glap seals is uh, everything that is around the, or through the roof. You also have a lap seal in the very front and one in the very rear, except the air conditioner. And around your solar panel mounts. Just need to have those cleaned and inspected. Alright, that's almost everything on the outside. I'm just going to go in and let the awning out. I'm just holding up on the awning switch right inside the entrance door. You want to make sure that the uh, entrance door isn't uh, interfering with the awning arm. You want to turn around and get You also don't want to overextend the awning. And then uh, if you need to pitch it further down, you'll just tighten this little thumb nut right here after you pull down. I always recommend to put it back up before you put the awning away. Press and hold down. Does have an exhaust vent with a switch for the fan inside the vent. Right past the bathroom door on the wall, we have a few things. This is the hot water controller for the wa uh, for the water heater. Um, I basically I already turned it on outside, and I have water uh, pressured up. So as soon as I turn the hot water on, you'll see it. Ignite. I'm gonna turn this on. After you see the flame symbol, it might be a moment I just turn the gas on. Too. All right. Just a few moments, you'll have nice hot water. Turn it off, it'll automatically shut down. Below it is a thermostat for the furnace only. Uh, when you turn the furnace on, the farthest to the right, that will make it blow the hottest. When you turn it off, make sure it clicks and the fan will continue to run for another 15 minutes possibly. Uh, and then further below the furnace thermostat, we have your monitor panel, battery, fresh holding tank. It says we have two thirds. The black tank is empty, gray tank is empty. And of course the water pump only use if there's water in the fresh only. And your switch down here is for the battery. The battery is a lithium ion battery. So if it's below 40 degrees, you wanna have this on to keep the battery nice and warm. If not, it doesn't have to be on at all. Right past it, we have a refrigerator. This refrigerator is gonna be 12 volt. Uh, set on zero is basically off. When you want to uh, turn it on, just set it to a preferred uh, number setting for the temperature. Below the refrigerator is gonna have, is gonna be the power box going to have the uh, 125 breakers, main breaker on the left, and DC fuses. It also has, houses the converter that keeps the battery charged while using electric. Right, so 
both range, and then we just got a little stove top. Just press the uh, knob in to ignite. There's the main GFCI reset on an outlet that is in the master bedroom in the corner. AC thermostat is on the ceiling assembly. All right, and uh, we also have a smoke alarm in the ceiling. We also have a propane and carbon monoxide alarm down here on the end of the counter down low. And a Bluetooth speaker for entertainment. All right, so this is gonna conclude my walkthrough. Thank you and happy camping.